Peace and blessings, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. How are you? So yes, my daughter is here. And so I'm preparing a soup. I talked about it yesterday on my other channel that I made a phenomenal soup. And actually, I've been doing a lot of, I do more uh, steamed fruit, I'm, I'm sorry, steamed vegetables and potatoes and just very healthy, healthy food. So first thing I did today, hey, Yasmin, how are you? Is I made something called sorrel. And sorrel is uh, something called hibiscus leaves or a biscuits flower, so it's like an herb, it's beautiful and it's red and it's so great. And so I actually have a recipe where I put orange juice, so the sorrel, the orange juice, lemon juice, I squeeze some lemon, ginger, and that's it. And so I'm just waiting for these to settle, I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. So I'll make those today. Uh, also, uh, I made some rice already as well. I know it says lentils, but that's actually brown rice, but I already made it. So I made that yesterday. So let me tell you about my soup, what I'm using in my soup. So the, the, uh, the seasonings is curry powder, and here is olive oil, also garlic powder, Himalayan pink sea salt, hey Camille, and something called spike seasoning, and then this Bragg's liquid aminos. And then what I do is I create a broth. So I'll show you, I create a nice broth. This is a wonderful pot to cook out of. So I create a nice broth, and I'm not gonna take it off too much. And in the broth, and so there's potatoes in there, sweet potatoes, white potatoes. But before I do that, let me just tell you what I do is I create a broth. And what I mean by that is, you know, y'all know what a broth is. I take the tips of the broccoli, the stems and all the hard part, and I chop that up. I put gar fresh garlic, fresh red onions, yellow onions, uh, uh, I put the curry powder in, I put all the garlic powder, the salt, the, sea, the spike seasoning. I start with that liquid minos to make it nice and it's kind of salty. I even put oil in it and I bring all that to a boil. And I also I put the stems from the kale because this is kale right here. So I de-stem them. Some of, I de-stem, some I do not de-stem. But I take the stems and I start a broth. So my broth is water, curry powder, all the seasonings the stems of, of fresh garlic fresh and fresh ginger as well, ginger root, garlic, and I do all of that in the pot and I bring that to a nice boil. I put, what else do I put? The tips of, oh, the, the bell pepper, which is here. I take the tips and I actually put the tips of the bell pepper in anything that could create a nice vegetable broth is what I'm doing. And I always use exactly what I have in the house. That's what I love about vegetable soups or stews, or you know, when, when I was in Rasta, we call it Ital soup, which is vital soups. These things are wonderful. And then once it boils, I take various potatoes. So black folks, we need to eat our sweet potatoes. So I actually do sweet potatoes. And then I also, there's some white potatoes in there as well, and I do some white potatoes, but that's after the broth is really marinated. And so then I put in the potatoes. So the potatoes are in now, along with the fresh garlic, the fresh ginger, the red onions, the yellow onion, the stalk from the broccoli, the stalk from the kale, the, what you call the bell pepper stalk, if you will. And, uh, and, and the, all the seasonings, and then this Bragg's liquid aminos. Then this is what I do. So when this, when it boils, when the potatoes boil down and get nice and soft and all that good stuff, what I do is this, I cut it off. I cut off this uh, pot because it's gonna be hot. I mean, you can see the steam coming out of it now, so you know it's doing good things. So I cut it off. I cut it off because I don't need to cook the rest of this, although it does cook, it's gonna cook in the water. So I like lightly steamed foods, the ones that are kind of more hard or fibrous. I'll steam them, and so I don't cook these because they don't really need to be cooked, and they are being cooked if you just place it in that very hot pot of water once those potatoes are soft. So this is what I do. I marinate with the Bragg's liquid aminos. I marinate uh, some tofu just a little bit. My daughter likes it. I like it just a tiny bit. It's organic. It's non gmo and it's great for my menopausal symptoms. I marinate that with this Bragg, so it's like a natural soy sauce, for those that don't know all-purpose seasoning from soy protein. 
natural soy sauce alternative. So it's great. I've been using it for years. And then I put some red onions because this is in the end. I'm going to pour this into the pot. And this is going to be the kind of like a fresh onion taste. So, you know, you got to have that. Then I put in the bell peppers. I'm going to put in the fresh broccoli. And also I'm going to put in the fresh kale. Like I said, I wait till this boils. I cut it once. I rather I wait for the now for potatoes to get soft. And then I just put everything in, cut off the pot. And we have that. I want to show you also I made yesterday... I made some raw, oh, sorry, the rice cake there. I made some raw brownies, and I want to show you. This, y'all, is heaven. It is raw brownies, and it is so dang delicious that I, I, I got a couple of recipes. This one was a little more complicated, but actually not complicated. It's just a little more involved in it. This one was almond meal, and, uh, which is like you could just do almonds, and cacao, a little bit of maca, a little sea salt, and of course dates, and it was heavenly, it still is, so I'm going to eat that, that brownie is for dessert, now for, for those that don't know, I do, I guess they call it intimate fast, and I just call it doing me, but uh, I don't eat until 12 noon, so I, I break my fast at 12 noon, but I do drink, I, have a, I had a smoothie today, mango, banana, orange juice smoothie with a little spirulina and maca in it, I drink water, like right now I'm having some lemon water, and on the bottom of that lemon water, a lemon infused water is a little uh, flaxseed. A flaxseed is great for hot flashes, menopausal symptoms. Again, you know, I'm always looking out for myself and you, so I chew the seeds on the bottom because I actually soak the flax seeds overnight so that it can kind of gel and the seeds can be softer so that I can actually chew them, so they can be chewable. So loving that, and uh, oh my God, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna break the fast now. I have some leftover soup from yesterday, so I'm actually gonna eat that. And I, like I said, I made some brown rice. Let me take that stuff out so you can see it. So here is this is the brown rice, which I know you know what brown rice is. So I got some brown rice in there. I think I got another one. I think I made two. But this is the leftover soup. And this is what I'm going to go in. So I'm going to make that some soup for me. And then let me see. I got a lot of leftover stuff. Oh, this is some. This is the chocolate pudding. I made a raw chocolate pudding. And this is what I put over the brownies. The raw brownies like a fudge. So, yeah, I made a raw chocolate pudding. Oh, my God, y'all. It is heavenly. That's with avocados, cacao. So delicious. So, got to remember that's in there. So, I can actually use that as well. And what else? Let's look at the leftovers. I have, oh, yeah, I have some raw vegetables. So, you know what? I'm going to make a salad because I cut these up yesterday. And this is cucumbers. This is, this is actually some steamed vegetables and some raw vegetables. So it's, it's asparagus, broccoli, tomatoes, cucumbers. So I will actually have this on the side. I'll, 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 you know, I'll get my husband and them to eat that. And what else? That's all that I have as far as leftover. I always got leftover. That's not even true. That's not even true. What other stuff I have? Let's see. So I cook every day. Well, you know what? I will look in this when I get another hand because I want to make sure that I'm not wasting food, and that's very important. So I'm going to take all my little containers out, make sure we ain't wasting no food so I could see what I could do because, honey, I'm a potluck type of sister. I will make something out of nothing in a minute, okay? So let's see. Let's see what we got here. You're going to have to be, okay. And here, oh, yeah, these got to go. So these are some strawberries. We had these strawberries for a long time. My husband's right. He's like, throw them out. Now we see. So that's going to go out. Well, we had, a, if you saw the whole tub we had, for those as casualties, not the end of the world. And here, yeah, this is rice. So I know I had two things of rice yesterday. So we got plenty. I keep rice, brown rice on deck, y'all, always. I love me some brown rice so I'm going we're going to eat but this I got myself my husband and my daughter so we'll eat that so I only really I have these leftover vegetables and 
Well, I'll eat that as well. We'll eat that. I'll make sure the family eats that because it's a little raw. I'm going to make a salad. And that's it, y'all. That is it. So, yeah, I'm going to put the sorrels away so they'll be nice and cold. I'm going to have the lovely soup. So I hope your day is good. I love y'all. I, I forgot how much I love to cook. I forgot how much I cook healthy, delicious foods. It's funny, since I've been doing just a little more, adding more cooked foods and raw foods as well. Because most days I have lots of raw vegetables over brown rice. But yesterday and today, I'm having a little more of a soup. But it's very lightly cooked, you know, quick. Just get that water hot. And you put them potatoes or whatever you need to put in it, you don't have to cook it. It's going to soften it. As long as you season that water, you'll be delicious. It'll be delicious. But I, I, eat, I eat more vegetables. I want as many vegetables. Like when I go to farmer's market, I try to get a little bit of every vegetable that's there. So next week I'll go for the squash, all the different squashes, the butternut squash, the, the zucchinis. I'm going to get all that, all the broccolis, the kales, the asparagus are in. I just anything I can, and I go for all the raw. I look for the cucumbers, the bell peppers, the tomatoes, anything raw. Even my corn. I don't cook the corn. I don't even put it stir fry it. I I just cut, take it off the cob, and marinate it a little bit, and leave it alone. So very been feeling very balanced, very healthy, and very good. So I'm excited. Hope you are too. So yes, y'all. I have. I'll tell you about my coffee oh yo look i moved to coffee station this is what i felt i felt like and honestly a coffee tea bar is summertime i don't use it even sweet tea this is the sweet tea that i'm making S southern folks you know we love our sweet tea mine's got to be natural so i set this up according to the things that i use every day so at the end of the soup I'm, i'll put a little bit or even on a salad i'll put some hemp seeds or here's my chia seeds or here's on the flax seeds. this is my normal go-to so yeah, love it. Okay, sweetie, thank you, Camille. So I do that, but I, I change this. I actually put what I do, I like to cook and I need things closer. So I took the onions and the garlic. They used to be on the counter. The counter was too cluttered. I couldn't look at it anymore. So I took stuff off the counter and I'm gonna show you all of that. Thank you. I'm gonna show you all of that. So I, I got my garlic close to me. I got my onions here and these are herbs. That's dried sage, dried rosemary, dried peppers. So some nice dried peppers and some garlic and then garlic in there. So I set this up now. I, I guess it's farmhouse country as a real place where I actually have food. I want to lay out my food here. So let me show you what I did with the counter because, yes, it's true. I couldn't take the clutter. Y'all want to see my counter? Look, y'all, I got exactly now what I need. I took off all the clutter. I got my lemons, my mangoes. Oh, my God, those mangoes. My avocados. My wonderful queen here, I'll show you the other side, and apples. That's it. So I cleaned it. It was very cluttered before, and now it is exactly what I want it to be. Well, I'm going to make some cookies, too. Make some raw cookies, and I'm going to put cookies in the cookie jar. But all other stuff was just stuff, just stuff, and I couldn't take it anymore, so I fixed it. Because I want my kitchen to be functional, I cook in it. So I have to rearrange it in that I cook. And this is where we keep bananas and now potatoes as well. And then this is where we keep, so I separate the potatoes. This is the uh, sweet potatoes. And then this right here is where we keep a fan, honey. A girl need a fan. Okay, uh, this is where I keep my bananas. And they're very ripe. And that's the last of the bananas. So for those in there. So I keep those. Somebody asked me about my storage unit and like, where do I store things? Now, I do my best not to keep a lot of clutter, so I really only have one place where I store stuff, and I'm going to show you here. I think I showed you before. So up there is miscellaneous stuff. In here, I think it's important papers like passports. In here is uh, extension cords, and this one is just light bulbs, and that one is some oils or something to clean furniture with. And then I do saying that this is batteries and nails and, and hammers, all that stuff. This is a steamer in here. This is truly miscellaneous, but this is good miscellaneous. Cones, brushes, blow dryer. This one is my husband's camera, wherever he took it. But that's his camera uh, lenses. 
And then here is my husband's tools, but right now he took that out, so that's not there. Again, this is my husband's. I kept his little tapes, other little things. And then I keep on the water heater, I just keep toilet paper, paper towels. This is an extra table because this table here, my husband doesn't have a table. He don't have an office anymore because my daughter has the bedroom. So we pull that out for him when he needs the little office in the living room. And here I just keep a lot of my uh, binders. So I keep my binders and my folders. And then these are uh, throws. That's too heavy now because it's hot. This is my camera bag where I keep all my cameras when I want to vlog. And then, of course, a suitcase. A suitcase has all of my home decor. That's where I keep my home decor, my placemats, my chargers, my napkins, my tablecloths. And then this, I just, I just created this. So this is basically where everything, and I'm going to actually go through this because when I, when I cleared the countertop, I had to put all that stuff somewhere. So these are things I'm not using, the candle holders, the Dollar Tree, which I'm thinking about getting rid of, vases. These are the teacups. Oh, that's right. I got to show you the new tea bar. I got to show you where I put the tea bar. So I took this old, I had this old laundry kind of container bin. And so I decided I put everything in there. So I guess, I guess I'm saying I don't really, I do my best not to have color. My husband has a storage downstairs where he keeps more, we have more African artifacts, artwork, posters, tremendous amount of stuff that, you know, for a home because my husband had all that stuff from his home. Well, he lived in a house, but we can go through every closet. I actually, uh, if, if I, the closet has to be usable. This is our hiking shoes. This is the cleaning caddy for the bathroom. This is a cooler now that my husband uses to take to work, which he didn't take to his lunch. And that in there, I, oh, I think it's tools that I, my husband has his tool. Yeah, he moved the tools over here. And then everything in the closet is clothes so not a lot of store now we do store the, the, the this is the uh ladder we store the ladder on the wall but that's it i don't and my daughter's suitcase is there now and then shoes are here so i'm really let me see storing now the other closet has clothes so that's it we don't really i don't do a store thing i've never had a storage uh, because if I if it didn't fit in the house, that was it. But let me show you what I did with the T-bar since we didn't really use it. I put it all up there. That top shelf is the T-bar. It has the teas. It has the coffee press. It has the honey jar. That's the T-bar. That's the snack section. And that's the uh, where I keep my cups. So it's simple. <laughs> no storage. Let me see in the bedroom. I'm just, I'm just wanting to know you really see that I don't really keep a lot of so because i'm not you know with the house got enough in it and i gotta have storage too that'd be too much those are my bags the only bags that i own oh yes right. i got some other bags but they're in the other closet in the guest bedroom but they're in the basket that's just dresses it's my weights so that room you saw that is my storage room and that's where I, where I keep most of my stuff so tune in where i'll show you how to really you know, purge. I'm actually purging a lot of stuff and making the, even streamlining the house even more. Okay, you see all that wonderful steam? Let me get to my pot because I think you make the best soup when you pay attention to it. Love you, ladies. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. Oh, ladies, don't forget to go to Africa7beauty.com for my online store. Love you, ladies. Peace and blessings.